This time on Ozark Garage, we're talking about Rotopax and whether or not it's the right fuel system for your vehicle. Stick around, check it out. Welcome to Ozark Garage. Follow along as I fabricate, modify, restore, and drive interesting projects. Stick around, see what's next. Welcome back, everybody. Today, I want to talk about Rotopax and kind of give a three-year review of my experiences with the Rotopax and you know, talk about what makes them very popular and compare them to the two other cans specifically for a vehicle mounted application. So Rotopax has become really, really popular in the past few years and they're kind of the symbol of a overlander. And I've seen them on Jeeps, Tacomas, I've even seen them on a Prius. Uh, so let's talk about what makes these cans so popular even though this one's $100 uh, and these ones are about a quarter of that price. For the record, this video is not sponsored by Rotopax in any manner, shape, or form. Uh, it's not even my favorite gas can overall, so I'm just gonna do my best to be unbiased. I came up with four criteria to judge the merits of these gas cans in a vehicle mounted application. First of all is cost, second is ease of mounting, third is the amount of space it takes up, and fourth would be poor speed. So let's take a look at each one of these and see how they stack up. First up is your standard Blitz gas can. So this is an EPA legal gas can designed for pretty much everything, your mower, you name it. Designed to be easy to handle, but the easy to handle shape is kind of awkward and takes up a lot of space for what it is. So it's not necessarily ideal for a vehicle mounted solution. And then as far as mounts go, you're gonna have to build your own probably. With the safety valve here, it's definitely the slowest pour in this lineup. So now let's talk about my personal favorite gas can. So this is what's known as a utility jug or race can. I'm sure you've probably seen these with VP Racing or other brands on the side. These are available at farm stores, home improvement centers, online, you name it. Uh, I upgrade these myself by replacing the fittings with brass fittings, putting a Teflon sealed ball valve, and then adding a spring to the hose to make it kink free. Uh, this is the fastest pouring can we have in the lineup here. And the speed of pouring is a combination of the valve and the vent here on the handle. So the technique to pour this is throw it over the shoulder, open the valve, open the vent, and you can pour out the gas pretty quickly. Another advantage of this can over the Blitz is its footprint. So it's pretty much square, and it doesn't take up a lot of space on the floor of a vehicle. So compared to the Blitz, two race cans doesn't take up much more space than a single Blitz, but it is taller. If you have room for the height of this can, it can be a good choice in a vehicle. Here's an example of a custom mount I built to hold one of the race cans on the fender well of a CJ7. This was kind of dead space in the back, so this can fits really well here, and the tight is not an issue because it still sits below the cage. The base of the race can is almost perfect for this location. The can is retained by a simple ratchet strap, and this is a really good example of a simple mount that can be built if you have the vertical space to handle the race can. Here I've mocked up one of the cans on the Truggy, and you can see it's not a great choice for this application simply because it's just too tall. Now let's talk about the Rotopax. So the advantage of the Rotopax is it's very, very compact. So this is a three gallon, this is a two gallon. So these two together hold five gallons. And you can see how much more compact they are than the race can and even the Blitz can with its exposed nozzle. The Rotopax is by far the easiest of these to mount. Uh, with the Rotopax mounting system, anywhere on your vehicle where you can drill two 5 16 holes and put two bolts in, you can mount one or more of these cans. Makes them really, really convenient. In addition, they can mount in any direction. So you can mount them on their side, vertically, you name it. The trade-off of the compact size and ease of mounting is the slow pour speed. The Rotopax doesn't have a vent and it's got a pretty small spout. In terms of pour speed, the race can is definitely the fastest, uh, 17 seconds per gallon. Rotopax comes in next at 32 seconds per gallon and the Blitz is only marginally slower than that at 39 seconds per gallon. So let's take a look at each one of these cans, give them a score in each category, add up the totals, and find a winner at the end. So first category is cost. The Rotopax comes in last because it is by far the most expensive, 100 bucks a piece. Even at half price, at 50 bucks a piece, you can still buy two of these. The Blitz can actually costs more than the race can uh, at the local hardware store. So. Uh, the race can definitely is going to win. Next category would be pour speed. Uh, the Rotopax and the Blitz can, uh, they pour pretty slowly because they're pour venting, whereas the race can, especially with the modifications, comes in a lot faster. Ease of mounting is the next one, and the Rotopax is the clear winner because you can buy off-the-shelf mounts for dang near anything and drill a couple holes and you're in business. The race can would be uh, number two because it's got a square base which makes it easy to build a mount for 
or even just put in a flat spot with a ratchet strap over the top of it works pretty well for this type of can. Blitz can, because of its odd shape, just is awkward to say the least. And then its nozzle sticks out past one end, so it's not great for mounting in any manner, shape, or form. So the next category is related, but a little bit different, which is space. And so the Rotopax is definitely more compact than any of the other two. The race can, once again, has a square bottom and a square form factor. So the Blitz can definitely comes in last there. The last category is, uh, you know, is it Instagram worthy? And I know this is really important for a lot of people out there. The Rotopax is the only one that gets a three. It's the only one that gets any points here because the race can and the blitz just are not Instagram worthy whatsoever, which brings us to a total of 11 points for the Rotopax. Clear winner, no Instagram for the win. And uh, the race can comes in with a 10, followed by a five for the blitz can. So uh, once again, if you disagree with any of these, uh, post in the comments, let me know what you think. All joking aside, the Rotopax is a great system for mounting additional fuel in a vehicle. And really, that's what you're buying. The great mounting system is what sets Rotopax apart from anything else. Rotopax gets a bad rap sometimes because they seem to be inseparable from a rooftop tent and everyone jokes they're just air cans because they've never actually seen one holding fuel. If I'm at an off-road park in the Ozarks, I don't have mine mounted. I use the race cans and keep them on the trailer because I'm never that far away. But in the backcountry of Moab, where we like to spend a full day on the trail away from town, I have needed extra gas. The green Jeep in this video has a small block V8 and absolutely needs extra gas. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more of the green Jeep, post in the comments below and be sure to subscribe to see more of the Truggy. See you next time.